Hello guys, let's make a cartoon explosion animation today. Let's go. Enable the animation assist settings. First, I draw something similar to an asymmetrical star with different length rays. On the next layer, I draw circles at the end of each star point. To make a circle even, hold down the pencil and tap your finger on the screen. I reduce the onion skin opacity so that the underlay wasn't so bright. So, on the next layer, I slightly increase the circles and move them further from the center. I want to draw another closer row on the same frame. For this, I create a new layer and group it with the layer with circles. Now I choose a different color, and on this new layer, I draw three small circles closer to the center. Moving on. Create a new layer. Set onion skin frames to 1 so that neighboring frames don't bother me. On the new layer, first draw the first part of the circles. Now I draw them like ovals, moving them even further away from the center. By the way, if you hold down the pencil when drawing an oval, you can switch to the editing mode of the figure using points above. Moving on, now create a new layer and group it with the ovals. Here, we enlarge the front plane circles. On the next frame, crop the ovals. You can also break some of them into two parts. On the front layer, the circles become ovals, following the example of the rear plane. Let's set frames per second to 12 and preview it. OK, let's move on. Now, inside this group, create another layer and choose a new color. Also, draw several small circles in the center. As a result, we already have three planes, rear, middle, and front. On the new frame for the rear plane, cropped ovals turn into curved lines, trying to reduce them and slightly break them apart. On the middle plane, we squeeze the ovals and move them aside. And on the front plane, we increase the circles. Go to the next frame. Here, on the rear plane, we continue to decrease and break the lines. The movement from the center is already minimal, moving just a little. On the middle plane, we continue to squeeze the ovals and move them to the sides. And on the front plane, we increase the circles. As you understand, then everything is repeated. On the rear plane, there are lines. On the middle plane, we cut off the ovals. And on the front plane, the circles turn into ovals. Let's watch a small preview. On the next frame, I already remove the rear plane and draw the transformation of cropped ovals into lines. On the front plane, we move and reduce the ovals. I do several more frames, following the pattern, until all the figures disappear. Let's watch the preview. It looks good, but we need to add another smoke layer. We go back to the beginning of the animation, and on the second frame, we create a new layer below the circles. We draw a dark circle in the center. On each frame, I draw dark circles that also turn into an oval and move away from the center. The 
smoke should disappear last. Let's watch the preview. Now let's move on to the stage of filling. It's pretty simple here. Drag the color onto the shape. If you need to fill several shapes, select Continue Filling after the first fill and tap all the necessary areas. To exit the mode, press the check mark. Guys, here's a finished cartoon explosion animation. What do you think about today's lesson? Was it useful or interesting for you? Thank you, see you in the next video.